we have a brand new uh, developer notes about the next update and recent feedback. Now, this is from the Korean uh, point of view. So this is going to be big. This is going to cover quite a bit of what's going on. All right. So about the hunter's concept and dual pickup. So this is for the dual banner that's happening. So uh, first off, Non, thank you so much. I appreciate the donation, brother. Much love. Um, so the character design. Let me let me put the uh, I'm gonna put the chat box on. All right, so you guys can see your, your chats here. Let's put this on. There you guys go. Chat's gonna come up. All right. Um, the character design and concept that hunters expect from the game. I've seen a lot of articles about performance, especially before and after live broadcast. Seeing the hunters' reaction made me realize that we're not prepared enough, and I had a lot to think about. This is from the developer, by the way, okay, development team. The result of the preparation was the judgment that a hunter concept that would liven up the game's atmosphere was needed. This is what they're referring to as the two new girls that are coming out. All right, that's what they're referring to right here. Those are the two new girls coming out. Uh, so personally, I think, I think this was a mistake. They don't need to liven it up. What they need to do is they need to balance things and make the Manwa hunters a lot better. I think that was number mistake number one. It didn't go in the direction the hunters had expected. As for the characters that will be introduced later, I am I am the only one who leveled up and going well. We will prepare carefully so that we can present it at a level that will satisfy our hunters. So this is what I was talking about. They can't get rid of the two girls because they've already produced them. They're coming out. There's a schedule, etc. So right now, I think what they're understanding is nobody wants to see this ever again. So we may never, ever, ever see any little youngins like this ever come into the game, which is a fantastic thing. It's a fantastic thing. There are also opinions from hunters that announced pickup uh, opening time was too close. This is, means like the two banners are too close side by side, which I've been mentioning all along. They should spread it out to give people more time to save. Charlotte and Harper are twin sisters and are closely linked characters in the story. These are characters who got through the same incident and have a story that's solved together. So I wanted to convey a story that is interconnected to the hunters. There's an aspect of revealing two characters at a close range. Okay, so that's understandable. From a lore perspective, do that. But you know what they should have done? made one character allow them to, to transform into each other or something that could have been cool for the story why not have harper be the main character and charlotte be like a alter ego one character doing two different things why not right why not have that that would have been a cool concept in my opinion like have harper be like an older version and then she can transform into a younger version of charlotte and that's her alter ego i think that would have been a way cooler concept than having twins that's just my take on the whole thing. All right. So there were also opinions from hunters that announced pickup opening climb was too close. Okay. We know this, blah, blah, blah. We did this. This hunter pickup will be available at Harper from September 12th for four weeks. And then Charlotte, September 19th, also running for three weeks. So that's the thing, right? Hey, bro, pain, you love, you know, I don't, that's a, that's a dumb comment. You know, I don't anyways. Um, where was this? Hold on. Let's keep going here. I was hoping that it could... Uh, so, this, hold on. We had discussed double pickup throughout in advance and anticipated that it would be a burden. The dis distribution of pickup recruitment tickets through a long period of events compared to existing pickups is a burden to hunters, which it is. It's really hard to get those damn tickets, right? I was hoping that I could provide some relief. However, I'm concerned about the burden of having two hunter pickup running at the same time. We fully agree with the opinion of the hunter, so I placed the magic stone in the login event to start on November, September 19th. Okay, so they're going to give us essence stones. They're going to give us essence stones. That's good. That is good. Right? So that they're going to help us to, to kind of to kind of summon for them. So that's great. At least that's something to say, hey, I'm sorry. And I have to give the devs credit. They do this quite a bit where they see where our concerns are at. And then they kind of make up for that, which is a pretty big deal. Right? So I, I kind of love that they're doing this. Um, about the compulsory pickup. Hunters, apart from the design of the pickup characters, you can also choose its performance. And I think... You also have concerns about compulsion because it is never our intention to force only new hunters into top tier content. So this right here is what we've been saying all along, right? They're always, they're always making the new hunters meta. And that's a big deal. That's a big, big deal. Uh, the reason why they're getting hate, Charlotte and Harper, is because kids at this age, at their age, don't belong in, in top tier gates like Baron. That's why. Right? So that's one of the big issues. So that's why a lot of people are complaining about it. By adding additional attribute weaknesses to top tier content, we verify inter internal balances. We will organize the content so that other hunters can be utilized as well. So that's good. If they're no longer going to make Baron only dark, then that, that changes things a lot. Right? That changes things a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, as users, we also do not welcome the situation where only hunters are forced to do so. You don't have to worry about not being able to play the content without a pickup character. Okay, this is very, very big relief, guys. 
That's a very big relief. That's an awesome, awesome bit of news right there for us, right? And then about skill room balance, uh, our operating principle is not to nerf the balance that hunters are using and experiencing. Um, we have been operating in this way through up, upward cases, including uh, CO Jiwu, et cetera. Uh, so Jiwu, sorry. I think the hunters have also confirmed this. If we nerf it, the satisfaction the hunters felt will turn to disappointment. We plan to maintain our operating principles as much as possible in the future, as we believe that things will change. However, in the case of Sonic Extreme Vile Slash, it is activated under certain, certain conditions because it inflicts extremely high damage. It has gone through a lot of thought and discussion. Oh, shit. Are they going back on this? Are they going back on this? This is crazy. Uh, however, in the case of after discussion, the overall rune buff was carried out, and the rune buff, the rune, sorry, and the buff runes and vile slash were at a similar level. We have made the final decision to adjust the balance so they can be chosen by hunters. Interesting. Okay, let's see what they've done. We disclosed the upward revision plan the day before, and through additional discussions today, we decided to include it in the update on September twelfth. Increase the type of runes that are being upgraded and make their level comparable. Holy shit, they're just upgrading everything. So, this was my point. All right? This was my point originally. Um, I wanted them to upgrade all the SSR weapons. You remember my video I just made recently, like a couple days ago? Maybe it was yesterday even. Right here, this video. Right? Where I said SSRs, devs need to drastically increase all SSR weapons. And people have been saying, oh, no, no, what they're going to do is they're going to just change. Uh, it's too much work. It's too much work. Well, this is what they're saying here. Look, instead of nerfing one rune, they're upgrading all the other ones. That's crazy. So they are putting in the work. They are putting in the work to change it. So additional improvements planned for September 12th. Um, so murder is going up by double, more than double. Holy shoot, that's a lot, man. Look at this. Those are crazy, crazy changes, guys. And then injury is also going up by way, way more. Oh, my God. Yo, this is nuts, man. And this is what I love about this dev team. I have to give them credit. Instead of just doing it the, the illogical way, which is like, let's nerf something, they're, they're putting in work. So you got to give them a little bit of love for that one, right? That's, that's a crazy buff, guys. Uh, difficulty Cold Storm right here. Look at this. Cold Storm has moved up like crazy as well, too. Um, look at these percentages. These percentages are massive, man. Frostbite effect has moved up. Illusion has gone up as well. Not very much, but that makes sense. Um, and then Blow... Has also gone up. Double slash is also going up. Again, not too too much. Uh, I think we've seen all of these ones already. These are all the ones we just covered in the last one. Oh wait, no, there's more. Look at this. Charge slash has gone up. Gl so these are these are the Korean versions, by the way, not our versions. Okay. Uh, crack has gone up as crack. <laughs> oh shoot. I know not. I've been saying that. What's going on, Key Four? Yo, this is crazy. These are crazy upgrades, bro. This is why I make those videos, right? I know they watch me. And I know they watch the content creators. We need to do... I just said crack, bro. They're, they're increasing crack. That that crack distribution, bro, is, is getting up there. That's crazy. Uh, uh, crack rocks? Anyways, anyways, sorry. Uh, so look at this. Crack is going up by double. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. They're selling crack everywhere. That's some straight up sus. Uh, chain explosion. We got ourselves double, double power for... Uh, more than double power for chain explosion. Shadows also... Met, look at Shadow. Yo, yo, this is, look at the percentage difference, 330% to 1,000, what in the hell, they're definitely smoking some of this right now, this is straight up what they're smoking right there, look at this, these are some crazy, look at the percentage for, for counter went up like crazy too, yo, that is some wild updates, look at consecutive hits went up, everything's going up, smoke of death, that's what happens when you finish your crack, um, the Hand of the Ruler, this is obviously, um, uh, what's it in, Commander's Touch. Armor Break, everything in Armor Break is going up. Yo, God, bro. In conclusion, it's been 100 days since the grand launch on May 8th, and we're now approaching our fifth month. I feel sorry for making frequent mistakes and paying attention to small details as I run breathlessly. Bro, take it easy. It's not that deep, but I appreciate you. Um... I think what gives our developers the greatest sense of reward is when hunters enjoy the game. I will do my best to turn the hunters' harsh criticism into praise through improved performance. Yo, big ups. Big ups to the devs on this one. This is this is huge, man. I love this. I love this. This is what I want a dev to, to act like. This is huge for us, right? 
to say straight up, I make mistakes, they're apologizing, they're fixing. That This is exactly what the devs need to do. In addition to the new Magic Stone Connection reward promised above, which is the Essence Stone for us, by the way, you will also receive receive Veil Ruin with this Ruin upgrading. Which one's Veil? Veil, Veil, Veil. Where is that one? Veil. What is Veil? I don't see Veil here. Okay, we don't see it. Okay, maybe... Oh, that's this one. That's Vi I think he means Veil. That's the new one. This one here, Veil Slash. Maybe he means that one. Maybe that's what they're giving us for free. Um... So we were, so where was that? Where was that? Hold on. We are, uh, pro, we are provide a veil, veil rune with this. Yeah. So I think they're giving us the veil rune. I think he just messed up the spelling. We are trying to provide various runes that will upgrade without damaging the efforts of the hunters as much as possible. I hope to try it out by the time of the update. I'll be adding a hero rune skill box volume two. We're preparing it so all hunters can receive it. Yo, th that's huge, man. That's huge. This is some big ass news, bro. This is big ass news, bro. Congrats, Nipey. That's awesome. This is big, man. It doesn't have this guy's no Kamal Harris. This is big news. And you know what? You can see it. Um, you can see a lot of people want different things. They don't want just the percentages to be increased. A lot of people want more effects on these weapons. So people want more breaks, more effects, more dots, more heals, whatever the case may be. They definitely want, like, the, the community definitely wants more of the, for these skills to just do more than just damage. They want some sort of more debuffs. Or, or effects, etc. But this is a good step in the right direction. I'm still, I'm still under under the hopes and, um, you know, maybe maybe I'm a little bit naive here, but I think by the time Jeju Island comes out, that we should see way more stats on Jinnah than everybody else. We should see like way, way, way more stats. So this is a big deal, guys. So I'm, I'm very proud of the devs for taking this direction. I think it's a, an incredibly smart way to improve the game and keep people happy. The thing that made me the happiest here is the fact that they identified that double banners don't work. These characters are not what we want. And thirdly, um, the new content can't rely on brand new characters every time. You have to be able to allow us to use other characters that we've worked hard on and summoned on to actually be able to beat content. So I think that's a pretty big deal. That's a pretty big deal. So I'm really hoping that this continues um, This continues to go on because they obviously, they obviously care, right? So there you guys have it. I just wanted to go through that. Thank you for whoever told me to check out the, uh, the Korean dev um, notes. These are, these are big, big notes, guys. This will be for global as well. I'm pretty sure this will come out for global. We get the news after, unfortunately. We don't ever get it before. So if I go look at the notices. Yeah, see, this is this is all the stuff we have. But the other stuff will also come for us as well, too. And that just takes time. Global just, the, the Korean because it's a Korean company, they do theirs first. And then we get ours right after that. All right? So there you guys go. Well, we'll hopefully, we'll see on the 12th to see what happens, right? 